In this video, I will show you how to convert degrees into radians. So let's let's start off with an example. So how would you convert 29 degrees into radians? Well, we start off by um, by looking at like looking at it like this. So from here to here, it's 180 degrees. So that's 180 degrees. Well, uh, from here to here, it is pi. So on the right hand side here, you will have um, you will have pi. So, um, so basically, 180 degrees is pi radians. Um, well, if you if you half this side here, so if you divide this by two here, then you also have to divide this by two. Um, so, so if if you half this side, then then it, you will have 90 degrees on this side, and then on this side it will be pi over two radians. And then if you half it again, uh, uh, on this side here. You will um, you have 45 degrees, and then on this side here you have pi over 4 radians. So so my point is, if you half this side, then you've got to half this side here. Um, but the, okay, so starting here, 180 degrees, you've got pi radians. Well, if you if you double this, if you times this by two, then you also have to times this side by two. So um, so when when you double this here, it would you, well, 360 would be would be 2 pi. Okay, so so now let's start again here. So so originally we had 180 um, for 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 pi radian here. Um, so here, if you want 29, well, actually divide both sides by by 180. So if you divide this side by 180, so that that will give you one degree. Okay, that means you've got to divide this side by by um, by 180 as well. So it would be pi over 180. Now, because you want 29 degrees, then 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 you can then times both sides by by 29. Okay, so uh, so this here would be 29. Well, if you times this side by 29, then you've got to times this by 29 as well. So it would be well, 29 will get multiplied to the top, so it will be, be 29 pi over 180. So you see, 29 degrees is 29 pi over 180. So, ra but rather than rather than dividing it by 180 here, rather than dividing it by 180, and then uh, just just so you can get to the one degree, and then and then timesing it by 29, do it in one go. So start from here jump to here. So what do you need to multiply by in order to, to get from 180 to uh, to 29? Well, it's like destination here, destination divided by original here. So the multiplier would be 29 over over 180. Basically, if you get if you get this here and multiply it by this multiplier, you will get to 29. So well, if, if if this here is a multiplier, then to jump from here straight to here, then you you would need to times by the same thing, which is, well, the multiplier here would be 29 over 180. So um so to get from well, if you could always jump to one to take it to the one first, and then from the one uh, jump to 29. Or you can do it in one go, just times it by by this magical multiplier here. Well, because this multiplier here, you've got to multiply by this this multiplier over here. So here you would get pi times this multiplier here. So that would be pi. So so basically you've got to times it by pi. So it gets multiplied to the top. That's why you've got 29 pi over 180. My my, my point is that. Um, r rather than rather than starting from 180 and then going to the one and then from the one go go to 29, just jump in one go. Find this multiplier here, and this multiplier here is really the destination here divided by the original, which is 29 over 180. Okay.